remember the trip to Corpus Christi. Granted, it was well ahead of any social media, but Spanish language radio was blowing up. People were calling in, expressing their grief, their disbelief, their theories as to how this could have happened, who did it. Across the street was a La Quinta Inn, and our best vantage point was on a balcony on the second floor overlooking the hotel across the street and the balcony and the room where this had happened. And we could see the red pickup truck where Yolanda Salivar was sitting and where police negotiators were. I remember it being a very, very long day. I remember doing a lot of live shots for uh, stations across the state. Everyone had heard of Selena, but never at that point did we realize what this day truly would someday mean. But most of all, I remember what happened after the incident was over, after Yolanda Salivar had been driven away by police. The photographer Larry Burns and I decided to go straight over to Q Productions, Selena's recording studio owned by her father, Abraham Quintanilla. And to our surprise, they let us in. And in fact, they were very, very gracious. Mr. Quintanilla was surprisingly composed. But knowing what I know of Mr. Quintanilla, I know he was probably holding it all inside at that point. But he was very gracious, and he even went so far after showing us photos of his daughter as a young girl and growing up, he took us to the studio. And in that studio, there were friends and family, musicians, people who were close to Selena. And they were all in the studio, crowded around the board. And Mr. Quintanilla had the engineer play what would become certainly a, a song that we all now know. And it was really the first time that any of us had heard it. And I remember everyone crying, hearing her voice fill the studio. It was as if she was there. Cause I'm dreaming. 